Mr. Corbyn, this is a direct message to you and to the thugs around you. We're not going to vote for you ever, Mr. Corbyn. Now, here's what you have done since 2010. This is impressive stuff, Mr. Corbyn. You have demonstrated how the left have functioned as the central part of the neoliberal consensus since 1983 by imposing your own identity on austerity distinctively, distinctly to prevent discussion of political consensus on austerity and welfare de reform. You are the first generation of political media class to use direct abuse and intimidation to facilitate the rule of law being undermined around neoliberal economics. You did that visibly and openly and confidently. You have shown the dangers of failure to reflect on identity and power and how that always reprodu reproduces abusive systems. You have demonstrated the nub of fascism and because you are busy protecting a false identity you are now generating a risk of anti-semitism as well as abusive women who you have placed outside the political system with the threat of violence if we discuss the systems impacted by austerity. That's pretty impressive stuff. You've locked yourself into a chat room on Twitter and you can't get elected and you keep missing that you're being told that you need our votes. You've lost that now, Mr. Corbyn. We've seen exactly what you are. You paid no attention to the welfare blueprint falling apart because you didn't actually know it was relevant to you, even though you had just actively prevented us discussing austerity. Mr. Corbyn, you have served the country, uh, you've done us a very, very useful service in demonstrating how the dangers of fascism reproduce themselves, how elite media cultures pursuing a false identity will create mirrors and groups set up groups to abuse. You have shown that you will recreate anti-Semitism, you have shown that in pursuit of protection of that identity, you will abuse the most vulnerable people in the country to facilitate austerity. It's a narcissistic, delusional identity, Mr. Corbyn, that was allowed because you had sufficient institutional backup. You now have to function in an environment where people remind you that's false, which is why you're so dangerous to women. We watched you take over the Labour Party like an abusive spout. We were never, ever going to vote for that. You went on to Newsnight and you openly sent people on there to tell them that democratic centralism and your thugs reproducing themselves and taking authority away from voters was a, was a good thing. You have directly threatened democracy. Mr. Corbyn, your identity is false. You have been very, very, very effective as a protective seal in the Labour Party. You have been a very effective stabilising institution throughout the last years of neoliberalism, but now it's time for you to move over. It's about time you learn what democracy is, Mr. Corbyn.